Hey guys, a video for our modern Japanese architecture playlist. Another update from the new houses next door to the old Japanese farmhouse. So they put an air conditioner in this week. Have a look down the side of the house there. Just enough room between the house and the boundary to put in an air conditioning compressor. <laughs> so of course, watching the workmen going up and down between there is pretty funny as well because it's a pretty narrow space, as you can see. But that house, they seem to have resolved the issues that they had. Down at number three, they've been putting plastic and cardboard down on the ground so that they don't leave tire marks on the nice new bitumen. That's quite common. We see that quite a lot with new houses. They'll quite often do that. Put, put something down on the concrete or the bitumen to stop marks, keep it nice and clean. So they removed all the scaffold from all four houses. Starting to look a bit more complete. So there you can see the last of the scaffold being removed there and put on the back of a truck. So after all the scaffold was taken down, take a guess what the next job was that they did. Have a guess what the next project was. Yep, you guessed it. The next project was to put more scaffold up again. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. The day after they took the scaffold away, Another truck turned up, and these guys put scaffold up again on number one. So this is the one that was supposed to be finished, of course. So a few weeks ago, some of you might remember a few weeks ago, the owners seemed to have taken possession, but they had a whole heap of issues which needed to be resolved. So we couldn't believe what we saw. this. what the heck? So we assumed there must have been some problem, but it turns out it wasn't. It was actually solar panels. But incredibly, you would think at about the same time as they put the roof on, they would have put the solar panels up at the same time. You would have thought, but they didn't. So up went the scaffold. That's a little lift system there that they've got to lift the scaffold up, lift the solar panels up to the roof. It's incredible, isn't it, that the amount of waste that happens when they finish the roof, if they'd got the solar panel guys to come put the panels on right away when the, the scaffold was still up there, it would have made a lot more sense, wouldn't it? And it probably would have been cheaper to somebody, you would have thought. But anyway, <laughs> logic has nothing to do with these projects, obviously. So then they came back again and took the scaffold back down, didn't they? Of course. That would be a, a big business. Those of you who have been watching our videos for a while, any work that gets done on houses here, they put scaffold up first. So that would be a huge business. So, of course, then they had to run piping down the outside of the house, which they did a pretty neat job, actually. This is at the back of the house. And we've seen a lot rougher work than that. We've shown you rougher work than that. So that's reasonably neat. Still a shame it wasn't actually concealed in the wall when they built it, but that's not a bad job by by modern Japanese standards. So again, we had a little bit of rain. Some of you might remember last time we had rain, the poor old guy that lives to the right of the car there had his yard covered in, or his driveway covered in dirt and gravel. And again, it rained again. They hadn't resolved it. They hadn't done anything to fix it. So he'd, he'd got his driveway nice and clean, and then it rained, and then all the stuff from their building site came down his driveway again. So it's, it's just thoughtless. It's just thoughtless, isn't it? And always rubbish all over their site. They just seem to just drop bits of stuff all over the place and then it get the wind gets it and blows it up the street. So lots of the neighbours have been complaining about that. Um, another day, these guys were working. And this is really common too. They'll just park their truck out on the street. And it's not a very busy street, but people come and go. You know, people live in this street. And what was happening is every time someone came, they'd have to hit their horn and the guy would come out and move his truck a little bit. Oh, there's a bit more of the rubbish. So where are we now? Oh, yeah, number three, a couple of bicycles appeared. That's sort of interesting. So looks like somebody's got ready to move in there. If they've started putting their belongings there, they must have taken over. Oh, yeah, same truck, different day. And again, same problem. He'd park it out the front of our place and there's only enough room there for just for that truck. You, nobody can get past. So he'd park it there and then when a car came, he'd go out and he'd move it. 
back it up somewhere where the car could get past. And then after the car went past, he'd park it again. And then a few minutes later, you'd hear another horn beep, beep, and it'd be another person coming down the street, and he'd go and move it again. Just totally illogical. They've got four blocks there with spaces out the front, but they don't seem to like parking in them. They much prefer to park out on the street <laughs> and just constantly move the trucks. See, parks it back there, that blocks the street then, that's it. Once he puts it there, you can't get past him. And off he goes. And goes and unloads a bit more stuff from his truck and does something else inside until the horn goes again and he comes back. So any of the Saturday, the removal truck turned up or the delivery truck turned up, whatever you call it. The moving truck turned up on the Saturday and the people started to move in. So... While we're watching that, I'll tell you what happened on the Sunday. So the Saturday, the removal truck was there moving them in. On the Sunday, I was sitting in a kid's inflatable pool with the kids on a Sunday afternoon, quiet Sunday afternoon, sitting there splashing around in the kid's pool with the kids, sitting in the kid's pool with the kids. And the couple that are moving into that house there, that number one, turned up. Now, they must have heard us splashing around and talking. They couldn't see us, but they would have heard us. And they just appeared. They came up the driveway and appeared next to the kids' pool. I'm sitting in the kids' pool. They've got their going out and meeting people good clothes on. And in their hands, of course, they had the present of doom. So some of you guys are familiar with the present of doom. When people turn up with a present of doom, it usually tells you that there's something bad about to happen. <laughs> so they're standing there in their good clothes with the present of doom, presenting me with the present of doom, while I'm sitting in my, in my swimming gear in the kids' play pool. <laughs> right? It was really odd. And, the, and, you know, here's our present. Here's the present for you, and we're moving in next door. And we'd sort of encountered each other already a couple of times, but this is the formal aisatsu, right, which is a really, it's the meeting. It's the formal meeting, and it's a very formal-type experience. And here they are doing this really formal thing while I'm splashing around in six inches of water in the kids' pool. It was just ridiculous. I mean, you'd think they would have either just gone, oh, pleased to meet you and taken off, or left it till another time, but no, they proceeded with it. And then they, they proceeded to ask a lot of questions about the local neighbourhood association and all sorts of other stuff for another 20 minutes. Fortunately, the wife came out and saved me because she's much more patient and much more polite than I am. But it was just ridiculous, you know, sitting there like that with this formal thing going on, being handed the present of doom... <laughs> which I was really happy to hand over to the wife as soon as she appeared because that's a pretty funny thing to be sitting there in a kid's swimming pool holding. <laughs> it was just surreal. It was just ridiculous. So anyway, that turned out to be, it's the typical sort of present you give in such circumstances. It's a giddy present, right? It's an obligation present. They're doing it because they have to. They're doing the aisatsu thing because it's a cultural thing that they feel they have to do. So, yeah, it was just badly timed and... <laughs> Just the way it is, though. Just the way it is. Oh, it turned out to be, for those of you who are curious, it turned out to be grape jelly. Just a standard gift that you buy from the gift section of the, of the supermarket, usually. So we've done videos about that before and explained it to you guys. So, yeah, the, the, temp the present of doom always brings on some foreboding. In this case, it's an eight-month-old baby. As anticipated, some of you remember we anticipated that there will be crying babies and barky dogs so house number one the nearest one to us eight month old baby now of course we love babies and kids and so on but yeah as anticipated <laughs> half a meter from the boundary we've got a house with an eight month old baby in it which isn't isn't the same as the little forest of trees with birds in it that we had before <laughs> but anyway it's just the way it is isn't it it's just the way it is so, yeah, they've been coming and going and their friends have been coming and going and everybody's very impressed with the new house. And you know, some of you might notice, if you look to the left there, just to the left of our brown post on the left, can you see the line down the wall? It actually looks like that sheeting that they put up has started to move already. It, it, it's not quite flat. 
you can see maybe it's the light too it makes it more obvious but can you see there vertically and horizontally there's a couple of places there where it's not lined up anymore so anyway they're happy they're happy moving into their new house so we wish them the best of luck and they took their eight month old baby and off they went so anyway that was the update that's the latest more videos coming soon